Hey guys, this is Michael from Cocker Chemistry. In today's video, we're going to be talking about molarity. We're going to go through some molarity practice problems. Molarity is just a unit of concentration, just like how pounds is a unit of weight. Uh, the equation for molar molarity, capital M, is that molarity equals the moles of the solute divided by the liters of the solution. Included a picture right here so you can get a sense of what the solute is and what the solution is. Solutes, whatever you're dissolving, is the one in the lesser amount. The solvent is what you're dissolving the solute in, is the one that's in greater amount. And then when you combine the solute and the solvent together, you get the solution. I included two practice problems here for molarity, and we're going to work through it, and I'll go, go through these step by step, and then by the end of this, you're going to know how to do any molarity type of problems. So first question is saying, if we have 0.45 moles of NaCl, if that's dissolved in 0 .9, or 95 milliliters of water, what's the molarity of the NaCl solution? Let's see what we're trying to, we're trying to solve for molarity. So let's first write out what the equation is. That molarity equals moles over liters. Let's see, we have the, the moles of the solute is a 0.45. So we're going to substitute that in, 0.45 moles of NaCl. And then divided by the liters of the solution. So the, the, we have 95 milliliters of water, but we need to get that in the liters. So there's two ways we can do this. The easy way is just to divide it by thousands. You could just take 95 divided by 1,000, and then that will give you 0.095 liters and then the other way you can do dimensional analysis so you can do 95 milliliters times the conversion factor is one liter for every 1000 milliliters and then the units cancel out and you get the same answer 0 0.095 liters so that's the, that's the number that's going to go down here for 0 .9, 0 0.095 liters then plug that into your calculator and you'll get 0 0.04 to eight moles per liter or just molar or just 0 0.0428 molar all right that's the first example let's go do another example this next example says how many moles of calcium nitrate are there in 75 milliliters of 0.25 molar solution so this time we're given the volume and we're given the molarity we're trying to figure out the moles so let's see how we can arrange that we know molarity equals moles over liters so we already have the molarity and we already have sort of we already have the volume we have we have the liters so to figure out moles we need to isolate that and to do that we're going to multiply both sides by liters and that's going to give us molarity times liters equals moles okay so we have the molarity it's 0.25 molar and then the liters, we have 75 milliliters, so to get into liters, we can do the same thing we did up here, just divide it by 1,000. 75 divided by 1,000, it's going to give us 0 0.75 liters. And then, uh, whoops, 0 0.075 liters. So multiply it by 0 0.075, and then you're going to get 0 0.0188 moles of calcium nitrate. So yeah, those are two examples, or two practice problems for molarity. And it really just comes down to knowing the equation for molarity, that molarity goes moles over moles of solute over liters of solution. Then you of these three variables, usually two of the three will be given in some form, and you're gonna be solving for the last one. And just going back to this problem really quickly, it, we solve for moles here, but if the question were to ask us for grams, we just take it an extra step and multiply by molar mass. So yeah, that, that's it. Hopefully this video helped, um, and if, you, if it did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, because I'm going to be posting up a lot of videos that's going to help you with chemistry and help you conquer chemistry. And if you like my teaching style and you're interested in individual tutoring, check out www.conquerchemistry.com slash online tutoring. Keep practicing, and I'll see you next time.